Hey guys, it's Model Making Time. This video is about how I got depressed and went, hey, let's just make a rainbow plane. So I've been off work for a while now. I'm not gonna go into full specifics. I don't really feel like I need to, but needless to say, my health has unfortunately not been the best. I've been on several different medications that have all had wildly different effects and I'm starting to recover. Mental health is as important as physical health and I think people often neglect their mental health and I know I particularly do do that. You just keep going, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine and then you burn out. Again, I don't really want to go into the full details of my mental health, um, I don't really want to at the moment, but maybe one day I'll explain further down the line what, what sort of happened. At the same time, um, Dale Airfix gave me an NHS talk to do and I was there, you know, being anxiety ridden and not really talking a lot and my dad went, oh well what scheme do you want it in there then whatever. So I took that to the extreme and decided to make the ultimate rainbow plane. I've always thought the NHS COVID sort of charity schemes and rainbows and all that jazz was very pride adjacent in terms of the use of rainbow colours so I thought making an NHS pride plane was you know, the best thing to do. So as someone who's got a lot of family who work for the NHS and, you know, is a member of the LGBTQIA community, I felt it was a really nice project to do and something that was just for me. I made a couple of rules um, to do whilst I was doing this project and that was to try and make sure that I could care for my health more than anything. The first rule was, don't beat yourself up. So whatever it comes out looking like, if it looks like crap, if it looks amazing, it is what it is. You're not allowed to beat yourself up. You can fix it, but you know, you're not allowed to say, oh, you did a really bad job. No, to yourself, anyway. The second rule was, I'm doing this in one sitting, and I did. There was one exception, which was the base of the model, and you'll see why during the course of the video. But yeah, basically, I'm doing this in one sitting. Thirdly, no tape, just paint. I did this partly to practice my straight line skills. Realistically, it probably didn't save me that much time or stress, but it is what it is, you know? Anyway, they're the main rules that I stuck to during the course of this construction. You're not going to see much more of my face during the course of this because I filmed this in a different format, which I've done for a lot of models that I've actually built recently that haven't yet been videos. I've been using model making as my form of self-care and to help myself get better. So yeah. Let's have a look at the NHS Hawk. We'll look inside the box first of all and then we'll go into the construction to say new format this time. So I hope you enjoy it. And for anyone out there who's feeling a bit lost or is struggling with either being on the spectrum or ADHD or their mental health in general or struggling with physical health, then please just know you're not alone. There are people out there um, I've had to speak to my doctors god knows how many times, I've spoken to managers at work, I've spoken to friends and family and if you ever need to chat then I'm on Discord and you know there are helplines that I'll put in the description as well that you can speak to whether you're LGBTQIA or not, you know, you're never alone and things will get better. And here it is, it's the NHS Charities Together BA Hawk. You see the two schemes it comes with on the side will be sort of doing some of them, sort of, maybe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the box is as it is. Inside the box we do have the sprues, which we're going to have a look at now. It's standard BAE cork, it's nothing to be absolutely shocked about. If you haven't seen, I've built BAE Hawks like three times. I've built a Red Arrows one, I've built a Midnight Hawks one, I've built a Saudi Hawks one, so it's something we're very familiar with on this channel, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a great kit. Um, the Airfix Hawk is one of my favourite kits to put together, it's just so easy and simple. You don't need to look at the instructions, the detail and panel lining is all really good. Um, I will take some liberties with this kit, but yeah, you already knew we're doing that. Again, the pilot model looks pretty nice, uh, perhaps not the best Airfix one, but it's a pretty nice pilot. So let's have a look at the other bits now then. So the decals look fantastic. You've got the rainbows everywhere. You can see why I took a very pride-sided approach to this, although the rainbow is slightly different to the pride rainbow. Um, you know, this is the NHS rainbow, I guess. I don't know. It's all just rainbows. <laughs> They're the schemes that Airfix provide you that we're not using. So 
we're gonna get into this construction and I'm gonna start by just cutting out the wings. Uh, the wings are always what I start with um, pretty much every kit. On some kits you should stick them together right at the start because it allows them to dry and cure together before you have to attach them to the fuselage. On other kits you do it closer to the time because you might need some maneuverability. In this instance I probably could have stuck them together straight away but I didn't. Um, I did pretty much for the instructions. That meant I did also have to do the cockpit, which you can see me cutting out the parts for now, and using my liquid poly cement in order to put it all together. Very, very easy to put the cockpit together. The cockpit is very simple but very effective. Components include the seats, the flying control column, or the joystick, as I guess a lot of people probably know it as. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, the instrument panel as well. There is this front piece as well which also attaches the front nose gear which although I do attach to spoil it for you now I do do a flying model in the end so this will eventually just get ripped off which I don't think I caught on camera. I use tweezers to put the control column in place just because it's easier with my ridiculous nails and um, if you have you know normal nails you can probably just put this in with your fingers but I have to use tweezers for some things now um, just to get them in place but it, it can be easier for people who have dexterity issues as well. The cockpit is then undercoated which I did off camera and then I've sprayed it, sorry not sprayed it, I'm painting it with just pretty much a black base coat. The cockpit for this in particular I want it to be not the highlight, I want the pilot to be the highlight and the plane to be the highlight. I don't really want anyone to be looking at the cockpit for this plane so particularly it's just the pilot has been painted in pink and this was just because I wanted to do pink. I don't think I've ever painted a pilot in pink before. This is sort of reminding me of like PR Spitfire photo reconnaissance like pink vibes. Um, I have that on the Spitfire Mark like, 1 of War Thunder and I love it. Apparently I was incapable of keeping it in frame whilst painting though so I do apologise for that. Yeah, I went for pink. Um, I decided to do like a blue shirt in the middle which I don't know if I love or not. And then I coated the whole thing with a uh, shade uh, from Sistel Colours which initially looked bad but I can tell you on the finished model it looks pretty nice. I do this with pretty much all of my miniatures. Inks are a really nice way for one every second to be able to get a lot of detail on. It looks really dark here, it looks really muddy. I did go over it with some pink afterwards to highlight it and make it look a lot nicer um, but I think I did that once so it was all glued in place. So we do have to do the decals on the uh, cockpit as well, there's instrument panel decals so we do have to glue glue in place, put in place, sorry, put in place with some water. I'm just using some cold water to get them off the actual sheet itself and then using tweezers and a paintbrush just to put them into the right place. Don't even know if these were the right way around. To be honest, I wasn't really even looking, I just cut them out and popped them on. So I painted the inside of the fuselage as well, which is also black again to make sure there's no <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no draw to the cockpit by anyone. You'll be looking at the plane, the pilot, and the colour scheme of the aircraft. Poly cement is applied to where the cockpit attaches on either side, and also to the actual cockpit itself and the fuselage to join it. I did put some weights in as well because again initially I was doing this as a landed configuration, but I've done it as a fly model in the end. So those weights actually ended up not being super useful but never mind. It's at this point that I put the wings together as I mentioned earlier on. I should have done this really right at the start because you know I built enough of these to know that but never mind. Uh, it didn't mean that mine slightly separated later on but again the rules of this build is just do it in one go, get it done and just forget about it, enjoy what we've done. So I glue the wings together, just make sure it's all nice and flush and then throw it onto the actual cockpit itself or the fuselage shall I say, not the cockpit. Um, once that's all joined and flush, push it together to make sure it is. I put this top piece on which goes just behind the cockpit and is part of the fuselage which fits on really easily and it's onto the painting, probably the best part. Now I've used the new um, inclusive pride flag as the basis for this and I've adapted it for the model. Unfortunately I didn't get the circle quite right, it's turning more of an oval but I've just sort of gone with it because my whole flag sort of elongated. Also as I say I was trying to practice straight lines which I think I did for the sort of um, 
people of color and trans pride section um and intersex section but on the actual pride plus section it's very wavy so we're just gonna pretend that it's meant to be a wavy fat guys because as i say we're not gonna be harsh on ourselves we're gonna let ourselves do whatever we need to do but yeah it, it it was a really interesting project to do um all the paints are pretty much just as they come um it was just standard reds orange yellow uh i think it was emerald green standard blue the purple i couldn't get vibrant um i didn't want to buy a paint first as i say i was doing it all in one sitting and i ended up with sort of a lavender which i'm okay with and it looks nice on the uh, intersect section so i'm not too sad about that and the yellow is probably more muted in fact most of the colors are more muted than they should be but again we're just gonna vibe with it probably should have done this in june for very month but you know <laughs> i was doing other things then and uh you know pride never ends and i wouldn't be where i am without the nhs so this model is actually like just very much just me wanting to get back on track with myself which is nice so let's just go back to me finishing off the painting <laughs> We had done pretty much obviously i'm going in with the white there i am going to paint the whole plain white in the end but because i'm just doing the bottom initially i haven't done that i do want to say i have left the bottom just pretty flat because i don't want it to be interrupted i want it to sort of have this really clean look for the pride flag because it's a pride plane i do also don't think well i don't think of course on camera that i actually painted the whole plain white afterwards uh other, other than the pride section obviously and a blue streak on top as per sort of the NHS scheme that Epics provide. I do also want to say that this kit was obviously say provided by Epics but they didn't require anything of me. I could do whatever the hell I wanted, I believe. So that's what I've done. I've done a lovely NHS pride plane. The plane itself, I say I put the decals on just sort of how I thought they looked nice, how they vibed and the actual way I've displayed it is I've cut out an NHS um, sort of the word NHS in some foam board and these bit of wire to make a stand so that's how we're going to present the plane as well. The decals are awesome and really do pop on this kit though so if you are looking for them just a bit different to do or something a bit more colourful fully recommend this kit. It's the second one I've made. I made one for my mum actually um, for her birthday and I did that in sort of a combination of the two schemes you could get. Again because it's sort of prideful as well so I thought it was a good thing for me to make for her so, and as my second kit making this I, I, I love this kit
watching the video, I really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of every new video on Mondays. You'll also be able to see me stream live on YouTube. Thanks again, I really appreciate it. Have fun modelling!